Well, hail forms just with the uplift. As that air is going up, all right, it's cool and condensing. You get the droplets of water forming first. Well, as it continues to rise and gets higher and higher up in the atmosphere, obviously the temperature is going down. It's getting cooler and cooler. Well, if it gets high enough where the temperature is low enough, that water will freeze. So those little droplets start turning into little ice balls. Now, what will happen many times is they'll rise up into the atmosphere. Of course, once they freeze, they'll start to fall down through the atmosphere. If the winds are strong enough, they will pick them up and bring them up again. They'll get coated with another layer of water. They'll refreeze. They'll drop down again. It will happen again and again. So in very intense thunderstorms, you can get very large hail. If you watch the Weather Channel and so on, sometimes you'll see hail that's the size of Sometimes it will get up to softball size. Well, what's that telling you? That's telling you that you have extremely strong updrafts, extremely strong winds, something that will basically push a snowball, the size of a snowball, in the air and move it up. So you're talking winds of, of in the hundreds of miles an hour to, to move this thing up. If the winds aren't so intense, well, then you get the, the pea size or the gravel size or the golf ball size hail. So again, it depends on how strong those updrafts are, how cold it is, and how fast can you freeze that stuff.